This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world, with your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, I'm bringing you a brand new company and a brand new guest. These guys came on my radar about, uh, oh, about two and a half months ago. In 2016, they did 458000 in revenue. In the first three quarters of 2017, they did over 720000 We're talking no other than uh, Tex Mucations Holdings. They trade on the OTC markets under the ticker symbol TXHD. And with us today to talk about his company and his new platform, the Smart Automated Messaging Platform, is David Thielen. He's the Chief Operating Officer. David, welcome to the show. Thanks, Everett. Good to be here. You know, give my listeners a little bit of about statement of who you guys are and, and, and what you guys do, and then I want to get into some uh, Q&A. Absolutely. Uh, Text Communication has been in business since 2009. Uh, we're in the Bay Area, about 25 miles east of San Francisco. Um, we have been public since 2014, and we've had quite a bit of a transformation over the last probably 12 months, and we'll get into that more in this in this interview, but we're very excited about the SMS mobile market. It's, uh, it's really grown the last two to three years, and it really became prevalent during the uh, 2016 general election when both candidates had a short code and a keyword to capture voters into the database. Hmm. And people started, oh, you know, SMS, mobile marketing, now it makes sense. And we've uh, worked with thousands of gyms across the country and established a very nice niche in the health and fitness community with a mobile marketing platform. And uh, we'll talk more about that with our new SAM platform that you mentioned in the beginning of the interview. But we also service the beauty salon markets, the tanning salon markets, and also the QSRs, which is quick service restaurant uh, model. And we're getting into insurance, um, hospitality, uh, really any vertical where you have engagement with a consumer. Well, I've been, been impressed with the growth of your company. I think you guys are just on the start of the beginning, if you will, uh, to something really big. You know, let's talk about some of your major sectors, your your SMS mobile marketing solution target. Do you see any new markets emerging with your new solution here? We Absolutely. We, we've teamed up with a, a group out of Las Vegas, Market Awareness Group. Uh, we're very impressed with the group for, for many different reasons. But one of the reasons is that they're the pioneers in what is called ISNM, the ISNM project. And that's an intellectual property platform that allows creative artists all over the world. So imagine singers, uh, the writers of music, publishers of books, to actually receive uh, royalties back to them through a 16-digit ISNM code. And we'll be sending the SMS remittance reminders when they receive a payment based on that royalty. So that's a brand new market for us. Um, but right now, we really establish a niche in the health and fitness market because there are 37,000 clubs throughout the United States. And we found that they really need the ability to engage with the member, um, to wish them a happy birthday, to say that we miss you, you haven't been in the gym in, in 21 days. Uh, your brand new prospect come in for a free membership pass with a guest. Um, you know that type of engagement is very important in the health and fitness community. Also, the ability to retain that member so they stay with with you for the long term, and also to add loyalty to the uh, to the gym. So, health and fitness is big for us. That's where our bread and butter is. We'll continue to really focus on that. But there are a lot of verticals we can get into with our new SAM platform in 2018. Yeah, you know, I was just thinking you could probably uh, use that in a, some s- sort of church capacity. You know, we haven't seen you at church in the last two or three weeks. Uh, you know, we're having this potluck or something like that. I don't know if you guys have given that any thought, but I'm sure there's tens of thousands of churches across America. Well, it could be churches. It could be nonprofits that are raising money for a charity. Uh, imagine Red Cross. They, they send out a short code and a, a keyword to raise money for disaster areas. Uh, FEMA, with the national government, they send out a short code and keyword to give notification to shelters, um, emergency shelters. So the beauty of SMS is that the text message gets to you instantly. 
And that allows you to act instantly. So if there's a bad storm, if there's a 911 crisis, if there's a, God forbid, shooting in a school and you want to get the word out, SMS allows you to send that message, capture that message to the consumer or to the member and act upon it immediately. You know, you guys gave up your old platform. You got a new platform called SAM, Smart Automated Messaging. How is that different from the previous platform? And what is it, you know, how is it different than the overall SMS uh, market space? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a game changer for us. We're very fortunate to have two solid developers here in the Bay Area. And as you know, it's very, very competitive in Absolutely. Silicon Valley to find a great talent, but we were able to do that. And we also found a great API team through one of our advisors, um, their ex-IBM team that is really good at what they do. And this new platform allows us to, number one, send upwards of a billion SMS per month. It's one of the most fastest and highest capacity platforms that we know in the industry. So our old platform was good, um, but the analogy is we went from a uh, Toyota to a Lexus. <laughs> and that, that's the upgrade that we have. And we're excited about it because it's going to allow us to capture more revenue. It's going to allow us to capture new verticals. And it's going to allow us to do what we call intelligent data, which is taking that data and making it uh, more driven towards the consumer. So you can isolate campaigns. You can run uh, predictive analytics. You can do a lot of different things that we couldn't do on our old platform. So we've spent about a year developing SAM, and we're still developing APIs to bring on, uh, we have, I think, three new club management software firms in the health and fitness industry that we're bringing over. And we have partnerships with ABC Financial and Jonas Fitness, two of the largest club management software firms in the country that have integrated our solution into their database. So we can actually pull information back and forth through the API and send out intelligent campaigns to all the gym members across the country. You know, I noticed that in one of your press releases, you added a new uh, team member, Elmer Robles. Is, is that correct? Yeah, we're really excited about the addition of our tech team. And I wanted to uh, preface that with the fact that the reason we're bringing new people onto the team is that we're changing or transforming the company uh, overall. So it goes back to where we were in 2017. We had uh, convertible notes funding the company. In 2017, we eliminated five convertible notes. They're out of the market. Um, and that gave us the ability to attract top talent. So Elmer Robles comes from Market Awareness Group in Las Vegas. He is um, one of the leaders, uh, early leaders in the blockchain uh, artificial intelligence movement. Yep. And he's put together this very exciting ICM project. Uh, Rajiv Varshnia was a senior vice president at Philips Electronics for 25 years years and he's on our team as well so we're attracting top talent because we've completely transformed the company uh, today we have one convertible note in the market that should be out within about a week we have our 3a10 process that's clearing up all of our historical debt um, that is winding down as well and we have one small note in uh, litigation that we hope to get resolved in march we had a really good court order uh, on January 11th that we're, that we're happy with. So we're trying to clean the company up because we have big plans in 2018 to grow the company. My guest today is uh, Tex Communications Holdings. They trade on the OTC markets, ticker symbol TXHD. Uh, they're trading at 0005, which I think they're grossly, grossly undervalued. Uh, this one's definitely on my radar uh, to look at, and I want my listeners to take a look at it uh, too. You know, from reviewing your, your filings, I noticed some some positive changes. We, we, we talked about that a little bit, about the, the revenues and convertible notes. One of the biggest obstacles that an OTC market publicly traded company has is, one, generating revenues, and two, having enough cash flow to get you to the next level. Can, can you uh, talk a little bit about that and maybe give us a little bit of a first or second quarter analysis of where we're at or where we might be at in 2018? Yeah, thanks, Everett. We, you know, it's, it's been a long journey. And 2017, I call it the year of cleanup, <laughs> the year of cleaning up all our convertible notes, the, the year of cleaning up everything that's out there that was prohibiting us from growing to where we want to go. And by bringing on uh, the talent that we brought on, the new partners that we're bringing on, the new infrastructure that we built with the new platform and the ability to clean up all the past convertible notes, 
we've matured as a company. And we see it quite a bit here in Silicon Valley. The early companies go out and try to capture VC funding. It's very difficult to do that. So it's a small company and a young company, you have to go out and capture convertible notes. And those aren't good for the market. We understand that. Right. But we've made the decision. We've made the decision to get rid of convertible notes. And we have the ability to raise capital the right way. We're very excited about a verbal agreement that we have in place to raise capital sometime um, in the next, uh, hopefully, 30 days if we get it done, which will allow us to grow, allow us to do M&A, allow us to bring on more talent, allow us to uh, open up new verticals. And it, it's, a, it's a game changer for the company. So the days of convertible notes, uh, dealing with maybe entities that you didn't want to deal with in the past, those days are over. And we've got a group that is potentially coming in to take tech communication to the next level. Um, and they're excited about what we're doing. They're excited about what they can do for us in the future with our roadmap. So we're excited about it. We'll announce more as we get closer to that date. But we're excited because it's, you know, the headwinds um, are gone. And now we're, we're looking at the future. We're excited about where we're going. Mobile marketing is evolving. We just announced today a, a new service that we're bringing on called Rich, uh, uh, RCS, yep. uh, Rich Service Communication. And it's, it's a game changer. It's going to take SMS and um, evolutionize it to the next step. And we're looking at augmented reality to bring on to our uh, technology stack. So there's a lot of things that we're going to do to upgrade the company and bring shareholder value in 2018. Well, in 2016, correct me if my numbers are wrong, you did about $450,000. It looks like you guys are going to double that after it's all said and done in 2017. How about 2018? You think we'll double again? We're looking at substantial growth. And I, I didn't even mention Aspire Consulting Group. That is our IT consulting firm out of Washington, D.C., which is 49% owned by Text Communication. Uh, we've secured one large federal contract, two more federal contracts we secured. They're currently under protest. But we expect those to be um, out of protest, hopefully by March, April. And we were invited by eight large primes in the Washington, D.C. area to be their strategic subcontractor on a, a huge state contract. So we've got that portion of the company, too. We've got the SMS portion that's growing. And the investment team that we're talking to right now, if they come on, it's a game changer. No more convertible notes, um, clean financing, and uh, growth revenue growth. And uh, we're excited. It's, it's, been, it's been a tough challenge. We appreciate our shareholders for sticking with us. But 2018 is a new year for us. We're very excited about it. I'm listening to this program. I'm seeing your stock at triple zero five. Why should I go out and buy it? <laughs> well, I don't want to say anything on that because we, we try to stay away from, from that aspect of it. But, you know, we clearly laid out a, a roadmap and we're going to lay out uh, even a clearer roadmap here in the next uh, several weeks. And I think shareholders, when they look at that, they'll see the value that we could bring to them and the fact that we're doing things the right way as a company. Um, you know, we completely changed the structure, the focus of the company. Um, we don't feel we, we should be at this level. But again, when you're cleaning out historical debt, you know, sometimes that happens. But we're almost there. We're very close to being out of this. Um, the investment group, if they come in and the names behind that investment group, will be a game changer for text communication going forward. David Thielen's been my guest today. He's the Chief Operating Officer of Text Communications Holdings. They trade on the uh, OTC markets, TXHD. I want you guys to take a look at it. I'm a buyer of the stock. I believe it's grossly undervalued. David, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Uh, please uh, do not hesitate to come back in 35 to 45 days and, and give us an update. You bet, Everett. Thank you. I really appreciate it today. Thank you. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or the station.